and welcome to Learn from the Experts, sponsored by WBOA. And today, we have Sharon Connor with us. Hi, Sharon. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing great, thanks. Good. Tell us what your bus the name of your business, please. Uh, my business is Choices Elder Support. I provide care management and consultation to older adults and their families and people who care for them. Oh, okay. So is that like you help them in their homes with things or what exactly do you do? So care management can be um, all different things depending on what the individual needs are. So I'm helping people who are going through changes, transitions, typically related to health and other issues in their life. I do a comprehensive assessment, look at the person holistically in their environment, what their goals are, and I help to recommend services and different supports, kind of partner with the elder and their family to make sure they're doing as well as they can. Oh, okay. So it's not so much, say, home health care. Is that different, like where you're caring for them? It is different, and part of what I do might be to recommend home health services and monitor those services oh. and, and recommend changes as a person cha needs change. Oh, okay. So you probably build relationships with people, so the care definitely. can be ongoing. Yeah, I do. That's definitely part of what I'm doing is building a relationship with the elder and with their families and trying to get to know them and help them through. Sometimes it's an emergency or a health crisis. Sometimes it's planning for changes down the road, trying to find the best fit. Um, definitely, I definitely build relationships with people and we get to know each other and that makes of course makes it a lot easier as oh, you're going sure. along. Yeah. Well sure knowing somebody can kind of help Helps understand like what they want or what they need maybe better. Yeah. So can you give us say an example of a relationship that you've built that you've helped people circumvent some issues and stuff? Okay. So I have one client that I've worked with for two years now. She has um, she doesn't have children. She has family, but they live in uh, a different state, a couple of different states. So she started to have more needs based on her health. So I started working with her a couple of years ago, and over time I've helped her to move into an assisted living, to access medical care, to respond in medical emergencies. One of the things I've helped her with is to stay connected with doing something she loves. She stopped driving and she can't do the things the way she used to, and she likes to go out to um, symphony concerts. She oh, loves music. Right. And so that was one of her great joys in life that she couldn't do anymore when she gave up driving. So one of the things that we made sure that she continued to do was to be able to do that. Oh. So it's certainly looking at practical and medical and those kind of things, but it's also looking at who people are and what makes them happy and trying sure. to help them to do those things still. Right. Yeah. And that's a lot of quality of life. I you think know? so. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's enriching to her. Absolutely. Yep. So when, when would somebody call you? Like some signs maybe people should look for or just circumstances that would need your specific services? So often I get a call from a son or a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, saying my mom's or my dad is having some problems and I want to help them and I'm not sure what to do or there's a conflict within my family mm -hmm. about what to do or mom or dad is in rehab and they're coming home and I'm terrified right this is something I've heard people say so to help people look at what services might best fit their family member so that they don't have to be terrified so they can come home they can be safe they can be well if you're someone who doesn't do this for a living, you're not sure. You're a son or a daughter or a niece or a nephew oh, sure. or a friend, and you're saying, I want to help them, but I don't know how to best help them. Right. So myself as a care manager comes in with lots of experience and knowledge about how to help people in these situations. Mm -hmm. um, I make it a point in my business to know what the services are like in the community for older adults, the changes that are going on. Things are always changing, new things are always coming up, some things are no longer in place. So knowing the criteria, the eligibility, what's available, what's good, what's not as good for a particular person. So really a large part of what I do is keeping in touch with all of that about what's going on in the community. And so I can 
speak to the family and say, I think this would be a good fit, or give them a couple of ideas. Great. So, and work through that. Yeah. And so you would probably also know, say, like some financial things or things they might not be aware of. Or Absolutely. insurance yep. and stuff like that. And that's a big part of it. When I do an assessment, I'm looking at health and their abilities and their safety and their likes, you know, mm -hmm. their music concerts or whatever they like right. to do for fun. But I'm also looking at practical things like insurance and their finances and what's going to work out best for them. Do they have advanced directives? You know, some people mm. you need to recommend they see their financial advisor or an attorney to make sure that all of their um, information is in the right place and in the right manner. So yeah, absolutely. That's great. Yeah. And I think, especially now, we're just having this aging population that we didn't have before. So many people are living into well into their 90s that wasn't as common before. But there is things like you're talking about that are coming up, so. There's more services, there's a lot of options for people. And yes. I think that's why. We all, we've known about the demographic changes, they've been coming. Mm -hmm. When I went back to school 20 years ago, they talked about them. So this is not news to us, and I think right. a lot of us know this is coming, and so I think we'll see more options. Sure. For seniors as we go along. Yeah. And, no, it's great to know that, because th I would have thought, if I would have just heard the name of your business, that it was more of a home health care. And not, you know, not that that's good or bad, but I'm just saying mm -hmm. that's what I would have thought. I just mm -hmm. never thought that you could hire somebody just to manage that because, right. you know, I know my mom went through a little thing where when she was, she's okay now, but when she came out of the hospital, she had some needs and yeah. I just wouldn't have known that there was yeah. a service that could kind of take care of everything. There is. So, yeah, <laughs> no, I think that's great. Now, is there things that people make mistakes? Maybe, do you have like a suggestion? That you, a mistake that you see people make. Can you so think I got a call the other day, this was from a friend, not from a client, and she said, you know, I'm looking at assisted livings for my mom, and I'm afraid to tell them certain things about mom, because I'm afraid they won't take her. Uh, so, we, you know, people aren't sure. You know, it's yes. like there's only a couple places that I think are right for mom, and I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. So we just talked it through. Um, I didn't think that she really had anything to be afraid of. So she told me what was going on. I said, you know, I think you really just need to be open and honest with people and let them know this is what's going on with mom and this is how she handles it. And I think they'll be fine with that. So people are nervous going into it because it's a whole new world. Sure. You don't know. Right. Right. Yeah, so, so you would suggest like if that they wouldn't hide anything about say their in parents In that situation, anything. I think I, I wouldn't suggest anyone hide anything. Right. Absolutely not. But I think in that situation, I might say, in, in her situation, I felt like it wasn't an issue. Okay. And I was able to put her mind at ease to oh, say, okay. that's not an issue and this is why. And she said, you know, I didn't think of it that way. I was just nervous. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking of it this way. And that's where care management is helpful because we are an outsider. We are an expert coming in. We don't have that nervousness. Right. And that is sometimes very valuable because sure. as a family member, you're emotionally attached. Mm -hmm. Now, if this were my mom, I would need to hire someone else because it would, <laughs> I'd be in a whole different world. Yes, it's that a makes whole sense. different world yep. when it's your own family, right? You know, or your own loved ones. So, yeah. so I didn't even think of that really. Like, you know, you can be a professional or say, "Hey, I'm educated. Mm -hmm. I can understand the systems." But when you're emotionally involved, you mm -hmm. need sometimes you need that separation, kind of, and. Let that a professional help, that take consultation, care. yeah. I mean, yes. I've sat with people around the table, just the family, when they're in conflict and they're not sure what to do and they're at different ends. So, And I've just sat down with them and say, let's just put the issues on the table and talk about it. And they've been able to, and again, as an outsider looking in, I can make suggestions that they thought, oh, that's something we could look at. Or, yeah, maybe we could approach it from that point of view. And just to kind of get them through the obstacle, working through the problem. Right. Yeah. So. Well, great. Well, thank you for opening up kind of my whole new world of that there's that kind of service out You're there. You're welcome. Glad to. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. So, it's elder services. Yep. It's like care management. Care management. Yep. So, it's Sharon Connor and the name of the business? Choices Elder Support. Choices Elder Support. So if you want to know more about Sharon and her services, you can go to WBOA.org and look her up as one of our members. Yeah. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something as I did. And see you next time. <laughs>